White. I think Derek White's related to the Smiths. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, I don't think so. I think he is. Derek White went to Nebraska originally, but we have 220 pound Ironman finals in the white with the red anklets. Is number three, Braxton Amos. He's from Parkersburg, South West Virginia. He's wrestling in the gray. Lake Highland preps. Ben Golden, number 13 ranked wrestler in the country. Braxton Amos, if you know his story, tore up Fargo last year in his first high school event ever. Tore it up, won both styles, then proceeded to get injured. Missed his whole high school season. As he shoots Golden off. Goes to Super 32 this year and wins as just a sophomore. And now we see him in the Ironman finals. Now, he's still a baby. Where's Brad Key from? Brad Key's from Parkersburg. Not south. Not south. Parkersburg. The red so, one. That's, They're red. They, they'll fight if you uh, oh, try that's to say right. Brad Key's from Parkersburg, south. Parkers, Parkersburg is the big red. Uh, Parkersburg, south, I don't know. So, looking at Golden, I had a couple of his matches earlier. Golden looking solid in the matches I saw. He won against a Laurel Highlands Ian Edelfield in the semifinals. Four to one. Braxton eked out a 1-0 win over Blair's. Owen Treffen. Owen. Owen Treffen, originally from South Carolina. Wrestled in South Carolina last year. Transferred to Blair this year. And that's what I was getting at when I was saying Braxton's still sort of a baby. Um, we're just used to seeing him dominate everybody, and that hasn't always been the case uh, in freestyle. That hasn't always been the case at Super 32, and it hasn't been the case here at Ironman. He's been winning some close matches. Which, you're like, oh, well, Braxton Amos had a close match. Well, he's not going to blow everybody out. And he's still only a sophomore. And I give him a lot of credit for winning those 3-0, 3-1, 1-0 matches. That takes a lot, of, uh, a lot of character to do as a sophomore when you're used to blowing people out. End of the first here, five seconds left. And we can let Willie do color in this match so far because not a whole lot's happened, Willie. Not a whole lot of happen. Hey, we're at 220 and 285 coming up. So Braxton Amos, one in the quarters, 3-1, one, one in the semis, 1-0. So he's winning those close matches. And he's a freak athlete. Let's see, we, we talked about that. You know, he, mm -hmm. he, this guy can do uh, multiple back handsprings to a backflip, and, and that's coming off of a torn ACL, and he's a 220-pounder. I mean, come on, man. And he, he scores points in bundles when you watch him. He trains hard as Golden's up to his feet looking for an escape here the first 10 seconds. And off the restart, 148 remains. Ben Golden got here with a 2-0 win over St. John Bosco, California's David Aranda, and then a win over Pennsylvania's AAA state runner-up, number 16, Ian Edenfield. So right now, Amos on top, scoreless bout, 140 remains. And it looks like Golden is just a lot bigger and stronger than him. He really is, and... I don't know that Braxton even walks around. I don't know what he walks around at, but I, I don't even know if he walks around over 120. I don't even know if 220. he has to, or 220. I don't know if he has to cut to get to it. Nice, um, nice deep waist chop there for him, Willie. You put him back down on the mat like that. That burns a lot of time, man. But it really does. You know, it takes a lot longer for a 220 to build their base back up and get out than than it does a six pounder. You know. Braxton was kept out of action all through Akron, so he couldn't go there to compete for the world team. He still has a year of cadet eligibility next year, but there's a world champion at 100 kilos named D Daniel Kirkfleet. So, From Minnesota? Yeah. It going, would be going to Oklahoma State? Oklahoma State, right. And Amos lifts Golden, puts him down on the mat, nice hard mat return. He has been riding for 112 here, 48 seconds left in the second. And Ben Golden definitely has the size and power advantage over here over Braxton Amos here. And like you said, Braxton's just a baby, man. He's young. You can see it in his, yeah. in his physical mature, uh, maturity level. He's doing it with technique, a lot of, a lot of technique, right? Freak I mean, those mat, mat returns, right. Yes, freak athleticism. I mean, look at that, man. Golden is so much bigger than him. And they're going to ding Amos here unless he cuts him. And they're not going to let him do that again. If he comes to one more of those, Willie, you think they're going to ding him? Yeah, I don't think that Braxton can stay rear standing and try those back trips or try those lifts. 
uh, too long before he gets hit. But now if he can cover his hips and flatten him out like he did earlier with that yeah, deep that's what he job, needs to go to. Can't let him back up to his feet though. There it is. There it is, Willie gets to 20 seconds. That's gonna burn some time. Even if Golden comes up now. Oh yeah, he's gonna ride period here Good. and survive with no stalls. That's gonna be huge, 10 seconds left here. Second period and Braxton Amos gonna survive unscathed with no stall calls and ride the second. His choice going into the third. He's gonna go underneath. Big, big ride there. He went to, like we said, you know, we couldn't let him get to his feet. He went to spiral ride and wrist and tight waist, knocked him off his base. And now an escape will give him the lead. And he did it all without picking up a, a, a ding, you know, picking up a stall warning. We got a lot of Buckeyes in the house. You do. NATO's behind me. Keyshawn's floating Sugar around Nate. here somewhere. Sugar Nate. Jay Jaggers is behind me. All right. Joey McKenna's wandering around. So, you know, I noticed. Josh Lowe is here. You're, <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're very stylish. Do you and Jay exchange style critiques? I'm, di I'm fashion, high fashion. I'm different style. I'm old fat man fashion. Jay's uh, you, like you got it though. metrosexual fashion. And right away, Amos going to put him on a single, going to reverse him for two. And Braxton Amos up 2 0 on Golden. He pulls him off the mat. Now, what's going to be huge here is those no stalls in the second. That's huge, right? Huge. Because now they gave him oh. a stall at the end of the period. Oh, there was a stall that? call. I did not see that. I did not see I missed it. Right at the end, huh? I missed it. I don't know how they could have. Well, I, don't I, know how I they missed it. Stall, I did not it. see that at the end when he was in that spiral ride. Yeah, but when he chopped him and flattened the him out. Keeper, scorekeeper, wow! Saying there so he has warning. been. Hey, the uh, scorekeeper stay woke. All right. <laughs> so now he's in good position, though Zebulon. Yeah, but here's the problem: he gets dinged again, and then he gives up an escape. We're tied. That's right. I like how you lay those scenarios out, though. There's a couple of these matches where you've laid out the scenarios, and it's it's been it's been what's happened. It's like you know what, Willie's the greatest mind in wrestling, and seconds <laughs> not even close. <laughs> I've heard it before. Yeah, kind of like I run my mouth on Twitter. Sometimes. I'll tell you what, you know, kind of like Smitty, he's he's classing up the joint here with those corner rugs, right? He Willie? really is. Keep bright, the mat safe. Bright greens, bright reds, they really pop. So wait a minute, you're saying you sometimes run your mouth on Twitter? I disagree, you're very modest. Eh. Very modest. You gotta mix it up. It gets I'll give you a hashtag modest Willie as Amos goes to work here. He's got that head and arm, it looked like no. 55 seconds, Amos. He's gotta be careful riding here. I think Palazzo's gonna lose his mind if Golden doesn't knee up. Yeah, he might. I think Palazzo works out a lot. Plaza is a man. He, he is an animal. And Amos going to get dinged here, man. He's got to put him to back down. To his feet. Now Amos so now wisely Amos, cuts him. He gives up a takedown here, though, and Golden wins. 28 seconds left. Can Golden get the takedown here? Nice job for Amos as he gets head position, digs that hook in, pushes him to the edge. 19 seconds now, and Amos shoots him off. I mean, Amos has got to put on track shoes at this point to get dinged for stalling the way he's wrestling. Golden not knowing what side to line up on. And Amos is moving forward. He ain't going to get dinged. He's going to win this match. He's going to take an Ironman title as he's moving forward. Golden takes a shot. Amos looking to spin go behind here. Had the chest wrapped there five seconds away from what you guys are going to witness. as one of the better upper weight high school careers in all of the land embarking here. And now he's taking the back step. And there it is, Braxton Amos in Parkersburg South. Gets a title here, 220 pounds. Number three, Braxton Amos, four Super 32, four, four Fargo titles, a Super 32 title, an Ironman title, one week into his sophomore year. Hashtag.